Hi, today we are going to learn how to generate the first date of the current month. I am recording this video in January 2015. So during the entire January month, I want the date to be 1st January 2015. Let's take any date of January, let's say 5th January. If I want to extract only the year out of this, I can say year from the date close the bracket. This gave me only the year which is 2015. Similarly I can extract the month as well and the day as well. Notice that the month will always come in numerics and never in Jan Feb or the words. So this is the month and this is the day. You can actually also create the date from these three elements individually. Meaning, if I do equal to date, it's asking me first for the year, then the month, and then the day. So I can take the year, put a comma, take the month, comma the day. Close the bracket and press enter. This is giving me the final date from those three elements. Let me see how to generate today's date. At any given day, you can generate today's date using equal to TODAY today, open the bracket, close the bracket without putting anything in the middle and press enter. So today it's 5th January, that's why it's giving me 1-5-2015. This is the MMDDYYYY format. Let's say I want to generate the first date. So now I want to generate the first date of the current month. I can simply do equal to date year of today and close the bracket for the year. What does this do? It took today's date's year. Similarly, comma. Now it's asking me to enter the month part. So I'm saying month of today, comma, day. Now if I do day of today, it will give me five. But I don't want that. I want it to be one all the time, the first date of the current month. I close the bracket of the date and press enter. It's giving me 1 1 2015. Similarly, you can create whatever date you want 7th, 10th, 15th, or even you can choose which year to have, which month to have, whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching.